honey, I'm home. Where you been? Where you been? I'm sorry, baby, I love you. But you shouldn't do things to make me hit you. If you or someone you know has experienced sexual, physical, or emotional abuse by a partner, please seek help now by calling the Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233. It's anonymous and confidential, and it's available to you 24 hours, 7 days a week. Please do not allow anyone to love you to death. I'm your host, Ralph Vargas, and you're watching Soul One Cafe. another new edition of Soul One Cafe. Hey, this is Ralph August. You're watching Soul One Cafe, and I'm here with the bass player, Paris Ford. We're going to find out what is he doing these days. He's a member of BBQ, also Rick James, and a host of other artists. We'll be right back. <laughs> channel locked to so one cafe now back to
to Ralph Vargas. Yes, this is Ralph Vargas again. I'm here with Paris Ford. Paris, if you could let the viewers know what were some of the situations that you worked on in the past, you know, some of the bands and, and what you've done. Right, right. Well, um, basically, back in the day, I did, um, you know, Rick James, uh, mm -hmm. BBQ band, Invisible uh, Man's band. Oh, uh, didn't know that. Uh, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. Did that what, what role did you play in that? Uh, I played bass on that. Um, actually, uh, I did the whole album, but he only, I think, used two or three three tracks I played on because his brother Kenny Burke. You know, it's a funny that's story about that, but uh, I don't know if I should tell it. But uh -huh. anyway, um, you know, that's a, um, one, another album. Um, okay. Norman Connors, Lonnie Smith. Yeah. Um, wow. Um, I mean, the list goes on and on yeah, and yeah, on. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So listen, if uh, I can ask you, you you are a founding member of BBE and Q Band. Right, right. You were on the first album. Right, exactly. Can, how, how well did that album do? Uh, well, actually, it did pretty well. I mean, it with Gold, the uh, single on the beat, uh, actually out of the four albums that were released, I think that was the, the best album, that, not the best, but the okay. most selling album. I mean, you know. The one that made the most noise? Right, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that, and it put BBQ on the chart. Right. Paris, explain to the viewers, how did that whole situation come about that you hooked up with Fred? Right, right. Uh, well, basically, um, I was playing with Doc Powell, you know, uh, he's a famous guitar player, and Basically, we were doing sessions, and he turned me on to Fred, Fred Petrus, which uh, he was a producer of BBQ okay. and, and the manager also. And we did some uh, some sessions for Fred, and Fred had said if this if he gets a deal with it, you know, we'd come together, you know, get the cats together, right. and form, form a band. Sure, you know, not thinking nothing of it. You know, months later, you know, I got a call, you know, from Fred, and Fred said, yeah, they, you know, the session got signed with uh, Capital, you know. So I wow. Said, you know, so, you know, basically the same cats that did the record, uh, I got them together to be the band, you know, because we were all session cats. You know, okay. We did, you know, mostly sessions, you know, I was a session player. Okay, back. let me ask you another question if, my, if I can interrupt you. Um, I heard also that when he approached you guys, basically the tracks were done already. This is what I, I don't know how true well, it is. Can you elaborate yeah, on that? Yeah, most of the tracks were done. I mean, I did some tracks here in, in America, but most of the tracks were done in here. Wow. Okay, listen, we're going to be right back with some more Paris Ford. More of the Paris Ford interview in a minute. This is Rob Vargas, your host, and you're watching So What Cafe. <laughs>
watching Soul One TV. We'll be right back with Parrish Ford. Hi, this is Patricia Williams from the Soul One Management Team, and you're watching Soul One Cafe. Soul One Cafe. Hi, we are TRP featuring Tony Show, Tom Riley, and you're watching the Soul One Cafe. We're back with Paris for So Paris, as I expressed in the last break we had, uh, why was there different personnel in the uh, BBQ albums? You guys did about four albums, right? Right. Well, not me personally. I did. I, I was only involved with the first album. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, we did a, a large tour. Uh, actually, we toured with um, the Commodores. We opened up for the Commodores and um, Teddy Pendergrass. And actually, the tour stopped because Teddy got in an accident. You know, he was in. Oh, that know, was that time. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's why the tour right. stopped. You know, it was a major tour. We've been supported on the beat out. I, I gather why there were different personalities in the group is because um, Fred Petrus always had like, like, oh, basically he was almost like Prince. I mean, he he used different cats like Prince used yeah. a different bass player. Got gotcha. you. Know, every yeah, tour, yeah, you know, yeah, so. yeah. You're right. But um, actually, uh, Kevin Robinson took over the uh, the second BBQ, which I left for other engagements. You know, I had. Pay wasn't as, as lucrative as, as it was supposed to be. So right, I right. Had, uh, you know, other other dates actually. Um, <laughs> uh, no, oh, okay. we didn't do a oh, tour okay. together. Okay. No, okay. did we? I don't even remember. Right. It's been so long. Right, exactly. You know, you was a, a gigging bass player. Yeah, back then I was. Yeah, wow. yeah, I did a lot of such gigs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I even used yeah. you once myself. Yeah, yeah exactly. For right. right, exactly. That's what I'm just saying. Right, right, right. Exactly. All right. Well, listen. We'll be right back with Paris Ford. This is Paris Ford, bass player for BBQ, watching Soul One Cafe. This is Heidi Z. Don't change that channel. We'll be right back.
you say hi? Hi. Can you say I love you? I love you. <laughs> Who she warm me with a warm and tender smile? Oh, oh. Can I have a kiss? Ladies and gentlemen, this is my sunshine right here. Her name is Harmony. This is my little girl. And I tell you, she makes it all worthwhile. Yeah. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh. Warmly. Oh. Hey, this is Shayla Rams with Soul One Management, and you're watching Soul One Cafe. This is Mr. E. Keep it right where it is. You're watching Soul One TV. Don't move the channel. Yeah, we're back with Paris Ford. Uh, Paris, can you elaborate a little more on that whole Rick James situation? You said there was another situation that came right. about with Val Young. Right, exactly. Right. And she was the vocalist that put out Seduction, right? Right, exactly. Yeah, right. Okay. Actually, that was the album that was rep that we had. Uh, it was going to be represented as Val and the Boys. Okay. That seduction album. But Motown only wanted a female. They were only looking for a female vocalist, not a female with a, a band, you know, not a band concept. Okay, band got seduction. you, got you. So, um... When that happened, uh, like I said, Rick, uh, that was Rick produced that, right. and um, basically uh, at the time, you know, Stone City Band went their own way, and then that's when Rick pulled my coat to be on his album. Okay, you know, and I was, gotcha. I was overwhelmed. That know, was, was yeah, yeah, that was an honor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. yeah. I mean, I was at his house at, for like two months at his ranch in Buffalo back then. Yeah, yeah. yeah we uh, when I was working with New Edition, we went there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's got a nice spot out there. He's got the pool table down there. Yeah, exactly. It was. Yeah, yeah. May, may you know, rest in peace. Oh, yeah, exactly. I also have a magazine here that they did an interview with you. Yeah, right, right, right. Can you explain to the viewers what this is about? Uh, well, basically, uh, that's the, um, that's the uh, straight stunting magazine that K. Slayer Pot 97 put out. Okay. Yeah, and they just did a, you know, little, little article. Little article. Yeah, and, yeah. and how back, far back was this done? Actually, this was recent. This was last year. Uh, you know, a couple, you know, yeah, it was last year. Wow! And, yeah. and this article is in reference to what? What were um, some of the things they were talking about? Right. Well, basically, it was I, I was doing a promotion. I had a single out called Chocolate Squirrel. And, okay. Uh, and okay. That's what that was pertaining to, you know, and, and my background and everything like that, you know. Okay. So, can being that you you're on that topic, can you let the viewers know what's going on musically speaking now? Okay. Cool. These days with you? Well, right now, um. I'm in the studio, uh, but my real focus is on I'm trying to bring back old, you know, old school music, you know mm -hmm, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I put a tour together, uh, it's called the Old School Throwdown Tour, which, which consists of uh, eight gold and platinum recording groups, you know, Evelyn King, uh, GQ, um, BT Express, Brass Construction, BBQ, of course, uh -huh. um, Machine, um, Strife, oh, and Johnny Kemp. You know, so basically that's what I'm working on. We're work, working on getting dates, and um, actually, BBQ and, and BT Express have, have a date and um, have a couple of dates. Okay. In Europe. How can the viewers uh, reach you if they need to reach you? You know, if we're gonna have a number at the end of the show, and we're gonna post it on the bottom. And this is how you can reach Paris Ford. We'll be right back. Boogie Down Bronx, bass player. You're watching Soul Cafe, number one show. Hi, I'm Joe Hunt, and I'm from Above the Line. You're watching Soul One TV. Don't turn that dial. 
Yeah, we're back with Paris Fort, and again, you're watching Soul One Cafe. Uh, Paris, what advice do you have for like someone who's looking to get into the business? Well, um, I see it as I think you should uh, play an instrument. That's first and foremost. I mean, the rap thing is okay, but I mean, you know, you can't be a 50-year-old rapper, but you can right. play. You know, <laughs> you're right. You, you yeah, can, yeah. Uh, Let me get your take on. Where do you think the music business is heading now, the direction of it now? Is it good? Is it bad? Well, um, I think it's, it's better for independent artists, you know, because you can put, place your stuff on the, on the Internet and get paid directly, you know, uh, be your own entrepreneur. You know. Okay. And, um, yeah, I think it's going for the best. I mean, you know, I, I don't know as far as these big conglomerates, you know, I think they're hurting a little bit from it, you know. From the yeah, internet. yeah, all the labels, they yeah. just disappeared. Yeah, exactly. They started merging, exactly. and then, right. Right. wow, it's like we got maybe one or two labels yeah. left, big yeah, labels. Exactly. You explained the good of someone coming into the music business today because they would have more control of yeah. their stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the bad thing about it? Well, uh, digital, I mean, to me, uh, as far as recording is concerned, uh, I think it's 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 better in in some ways and in, in, in some ways it's not because I'm I'm so into the analog you know the tape and all of I'm that I'm like you, you know, do I'm into the same you, thing you know. yeah yeah it's much but, um, more sound yeah exactly yeah, yeah. exactly but as far as the business side I would say um, you know uh, copyright your stuff you know uh, try and get it published you know so you have your own. Uh, Publishing company, you know, trying to do BMI. Control of that, yeah, right. exactly. You're being control yeah, of your own trying, stuff, yeah, basically. Yeah. Trying to uh, get with BMI or ASCAP, you know, but definitely trademark your stuff, copyright it. And, uh, you know, I mean, with the access of, of Twitter and all of that, you're more accessible to artists, you know, to, to submit your stuff, let them hear your stuff, you know, with the right. internet, you know, I mean, like the Twitter. I mean, people actually answer you, you know, the artists themselves. So I, I would say. You know, that's it's you're a big man yourself yeah. on the internet. Man. Oh, I, no. I stopped by your page and wow, man, oh, I was yeah. blown oh, away. Okay, man. Yeah, you got a nice setup. Oh, here, okay, you know. Thanks. Hey, you're watching So One Cafe with your host, Ralph Vargas, and me, Heidi. Yo, check it out. It's your man, One Right, baby. Here, pop the hippie, you don't stop. You watch a So One Cafe. Keep it locked right here. But I ain't even got to tell you that. Let's do it! Get up! Let's do it! Get up! Play it, Thomas! Alright. Let's do it! Let's do it! Put the bottom back, back, take it. Let's do it! Soul One Cafe for like some of the bass players out there. What, what kind of bass are you using these days? Uh, actually, I, I um, endorse Stuart Spector basses. I've been endorsing that since '86, and they're they're a fine bass. You know, I would, uh -huh. I would you know recommend you go <laughs> get a okay. Stuart Spector bass. What would be on your playlist? What, what do you listen to? Um, 
basically, these days, yeah. I listen to a lot of old school, you know, Prince, Tower of Power, you know, James Brown, you know. Oh, some of your artists from the 70s, 70s 80s, yeah, 80s, you know. Exactly, yeah. Okay. I, I, I really like um, the new school guys, R. Kelly, although he's not a new school. You know, right. Guy, you know, he's pretty much the guy I listen to. He's pretty creative. Well, he's bringing that yeah, real yeah, music yeah, like exactly. from back in the day, yeah, man. Yeah, you yeah, know, he's yeah. a producer, writer, yeah, ranger, yeah, you know, yeah. he's a true artist. Yeah, yeah Paris, yeah, let's just show the viewers uh, some of the stuff that you've done. So. Could you elaborate on this? What is this? The BBQ yeah, band? This was, yeah, this was released in um, 81, 1981. Let's see if the cameraman can yeah. get this. You got this? All right. Let's see what we got here. Rick James? Yeah, that's Rick James. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the flag that's album. That's the flag album? Yep. All right. And also we got Tyrone and the whole darn family? Right, exactly. All right. Uh, also, we have uh, what, what, what we have here. We have uh, oh, that's that's a oh, this is, this is yeah, your single. This is Chocolate Swirl. Yeah, yeah. This was released not too well. Couple, this is couple, this is the latest project. Yeah, that latest you'll, project. Okay. I, 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 I have some T-shirts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. For all the viewers out there. All right. So I'd like to thank you for having me do this interview with A you. Pleasure, man. And you guys are watching Soul One Cafe.